Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can take a pumpkin like this, make it into a jack-o'-lantern, and then after you're done, you can actually make a pie with it. Yes, that's right, pumpkin pie from an actual pumpkin. Now this is a rather large pumpkin, came out of my backyard. I'd say this, there's, there's probably enough, uh, enough pumpkin in here to make five pies. Certainly more than plenty to make two or three. We'll see how many we end up with. Now to start with, um, around this side we got a small blemish on this one because uh, there was a deer in our backyard garden that nibbled on the side of the pumpkin. So I'm going to use that in part of my, uh, my jack-o'-lantern design. I'm going to make that the, the, the nose for my jack-o'-lantern. And for the carving, I'm just going to use an ordinary steak knife. So there's the nose. Now I'm ready, getting ready to start on the eyes. And there's my two eyes. Now I'm going to do the mouth. And then after that, I'm going to cut the top so that I can reach inside and scoop out the seeds and uh, make room for the candle. So there's the mouth. And here's the lid. Also, I made a little cutout at the highest point to let the smoke come out. Now I'm ready to start scooping out the seeds. Now to scoop out the seeds, I'm using an ice cream scoop. Okay, so all the guts are out of the pumpkin now, and I'm ready for the candle. Here's my jack-o'-lantern with the candle in it. Okay, so the trick-or-treaters are gone, and I've taken out the candle. Now, ready to chop this pumpkin up and put it into the oven. I have preheated the oven at uh, 350 degrees. So what I've done is I've cut right here, I've cut the face off of the pumpkin. I'm going to take what's left and put it into a pan. Now you can use a cookie sheet, but uh, the last time I used a cookie sheet, um, a lot of water ended up on the bottom of my oven. So this time I'm using a pan that has a lip so it'll catch the water. And I put this in at 350 degrees for about two hours. So here's the pumpkin after about two hours in the oven. It's nice and soft. I'm just going to peel off the skin and then put it in the blender. Also, there's quite a bit of water down here in the pan. I'm not going to need that water. So you can see I just peel back the skin and there's all that soft meat right underneath. I'm going to put the skin into one bowl and put, uh, put the meat into the other bowl. Around the sides, the skin's not peeling off as easily as it did on the top, so I'm going to have to use a spoon to get in there between the meat and the skin and help it along a little bit. So I've separated the skin from the meat, and we got a lot of meat from that one pumpkin. This is easily enough for four or five, maybe even six pies. And I don't know if you can see this too well, but it's it's kind of chunky and a little bit stringy. So I'm taking spoonfuls of that, putting it into the blender, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it more of a smooth uh, mixture. You could also do this with a uh, with a mixer. But... So come on. I was a little bit stubborn to get started. Let's try that again. There, it's going at the bottom. It's really blending well at the bottom. And oh, there it goes. It's turning. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm going to take the lid off so you can see what it's doing at the top. Let 
me uh, stir that up a little bit with a spoon. Make sure that all the different parts are blended. And again, I haven't added any extra ingredients now. So far, this is just pumpkin meat. Very nice. And this is what it looks like out of the blender. And then it's ready for the next step. Want to make your own pie crust? The nice thing about that is that you can choose what kind of flour. If you want whole wheat flour, for example, which is my choice, here I've got uh, organic whole wheat pastry flour. I think makes the best crust. You can also do a store bought crust, but it's really not that hard to make your own crust. All you need for uh, for two pies. Just need about a cup and a half of flour and about a half a teaspoon of salt and then you want to mix that up nice and good. Don't put any baking soda or baking powder into it because you don't want it to, to, to get all fluffy. You don't want it to rise up. It's going to be very flat. The next ingredient that you need and, and is just uh, about a half a cup of butter. Although I prefer to use Smart Balance so that makes it vegan. And I'm not even going to measure it that carefully. I'm just going to give it a couple of big old spoonfuls. Um, that looks like about a half a cup. Okay, so half a cup of butter and a cup and a half of flour. And then I'm going to mix that up. So now it's all crumbly. That's the dough and the butter mixed together. And uh, by the way, you want to use softened butter. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of work getting it to this stage. Then you just want to add just a little bit of water, just maybe a quarter cup of water. Mix that up. Now I've got a nice dough ready to go into the pie pan. So I'm going to make two pies, so I'm going to take half of it for one pan and half of it for the other pan. Then I just need to spread it out. There. So now my pie crusts are ready. Now on to the filling. The filling is really, really easy. All I need for the filling is about three cups of the pumpkin meat that's already been put through the blender, like I showed you earlier. And three cups is all it takes for two pies. Three cups of pumpkin meat, one can of sweetened condensed milk, Make sure it's sweetened condensed milk that has sugar in it. Two eggs and a teaspoon of allspice. Just going to take those ingredients and put them right here in this bowl. Now you might wonder why I care about using uh, Smart Balance instead of butter in the crust. I said it makes the crust vegan, but the, the filling's obviously not vegan. The filling's got two eggs in it. It's got milk in it. I wish I could figure out a way to make this a completely vegan pie as well, but I, I, I at least want to reduce the amount of dairy that I'm putting into it. If you buy a store-bought crust, they usually make it with lard. So that's even worse than butter, in my opinion. But hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever you want to do is fine. And that's pretty much all it takes for this filling, just those ingredients that I already showed you. And we are just about ready to go here. So that's it. I poured the filling into the pie crust. They're ready to go into the oven now at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And this is my second pair of pies. Look how much pumpkin meat I still have left over. There is enough pumpkin to make about five pies out of that one pumpkin. And finally, after about uh, 45 minutes, actually I left it in a few minutes longer. This is about 50 minutes. There's my two pumpkin pies. From pumpkin to jack-o'-lantern to pumpkin pie in just a few hours. Most of the time I just had to sit and wait while it bakes in the oven. The actual prep time is uh, something like 15-20 minutes.
Enjoy. <laughs>